I've, I've had a lot of good coaches. I've had some bad ones too, <laughs> but I've had a lot of good coaches. And there's like certain things that I feel like I could pull from, from, from a lot of them. And I'm trying to think back of like, especially from youth sports, you know, I think I was probably, this might've been, this might've been that same, it was, this is that same team with one win, you know, that same little league team. These two, these two young men, I mean, they were, uh, they were either seniors in high school or like freshmen in college. And they were playing baseball, they were baseball players and they're good. But, uh, you know, young, young cats, I, I don't think they were high school students. I think they were probably playing at a, at a small college or something. And they volunteered to come coach our team and they're, they're good friends, they're buddies. And, you know, what I just remember about them was, um, they were all, first of all, they were always early. Practice was very uh, intentional and specific about the things that we did. It wasn't just to check a box or making sure everybody gets a few swings in. It was like, they were so, um, they were so, they were so focused on each player individually and like what that player needed. I remember one day, one of my friends on the team, he just had the yips, you know, he couldn't make contact with the ball. And instead of just like, oh, you know, just kind of rushing through that. I mean, I didn't hit that day. I think a lot of people didn't hit that day, but you could tell, I mean, we were you know, nine years old. Like this kid was, he was going through it. You know what I mean? He's having a, an embarrassing moment. And so they just like worked with them, took that time, you know, kind of slowed down practice and like focused on like, all right, let's figure this thing out like together and, and just treated him like an adult, really. Like, let's, let's figure this problem out. Not like, okay, well, you know, you're gonna be riding the bench next game or whatever and kind of just moving on from it. Like we, we went through it and, you know, I remember some of the other kids on the team kind of encouraging him, you know, his name was Jeff and we, everyone was like cheering Jeff on, <laughs> like trying to, and then boom, you know, he starts hitting the ball. He's, he was probably just not watching the ball or something simple, but, um, and it's just like the patience, you know, that, that uh, the patience and, the, and the, the volunteering of time, you know, the sacrifice of time from, from young men like that, that they could be out partying or practicing themselves, playing their game or doing whatever. I, I, 18, 19 year old person normally does. And it's like, they're committing it to these, to these kids and teaching them how to play baseball. And, and uh, you know, on a, on a bad team, <laughs> they didn't win. But uh, I hope I'm not the only one, I'm sure I'm not the only one that remembers that season and remembers that team and remembers those coaches, but they stick out more than anything. No offense to, to Mac Brown and Pete Carroll. I mean, I, I've been very fortunate to have some, you know, legendary coaches like that, but, uh, but those, you know, those guys, I don't even remember their names, but I'll never forget.